both the circular and linear polarizers are attached to the uh, Canon H330. Circular first uh, and the linear on top of that. And the exposure is locked and let me turn the, uh, the lock off so we can see how it works in auto mode. Okay, just remove the exposure lock and I'm going to uh, cycle it through the uh, clock positions like I did last time so you can see what the net results are. This is with the, uh, I'm going to only change the linear polarizer and it's in the uh, 12 o'clock position. Both of the uh, filters are in the 12 o'clock position. Okay, that's about one, two, three o'clock, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and back to the uh, 12 o'clock position with uh, both filters at 12 o'clock. Here I have the camera in aperture priority or aperture preferred mode. It's uh, zoomed in a little bit. It's wide open. Uh, it's Right now it's at 2.4, but when I zoom out to full wide, it will be 1.8. Now it's at 2.0. And now it's at 1.8. And I'm going to uh, take the uh, linear polarizer, they're both at the 12 o'clock position, and I'm going to rotate the uh, linear polarizer around uh, clockwise. One o'clock, two, three, four, five, starting to see a little blue showing up. And six o'clock position. Yeah, it went quite a bit blue. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Eleven. And back to uh, 12 o'clock position. For anyone curious, yes, you can white balance out the uh, blue from the 6 o'clock position. The uh, linear polarizer is in the 6 o'clock position right now. And I'm going to go backwards just to show you the color differences. 6 o'clock. Five, four, three, two, one, and back to twelve o'clock. 